Hi everyone. Today we are going to see how quadratic congruences of the type x square is congruent to a mod p to the power n are solved. But before we begin solving, we need to check whether such congruences are solvable or not. To do that, we find the value of the Legendre symbol a by p. If the value of the Legendre symbol is 1, this, the quadratic congruence is solvable, otherwise it is not. The method used for solving such congruences is iterative in nature and we use these formulas to solve it. We do that in a number of steps. So the question is how many steps are required to reach the solution? If our power of the prime number is n, then the number of steps needed to reach the solution will be n minus 1. So we do that uh, solving the quadratic congruence in n minus 1 steps. Let us look at an example. Here in this example we are asked to solve the congruence x square is congruent to 9 mod of 7 square. We will first check whether it has a solution or not. For that we will form the Legendre symbol 9 by 7, a by 7. As 9 is 3 square, so we have 3 square by 7, its value will be 1. So the solution exists. Now, how many steps would be required to find the solution? We can see here the power of 7 is 2. So n minus 1 steps are required. 2 minus 1 means number of steps is 1. In the first step, we will take k value to be 1. And here we will solve x squares congruent to 9 mod of 7. You can see that 9 is a whole square. So one of the solutions is x0 is equal to 3, the starting solution, because 9 is 3 square. Let us go to the formulas. In the first formula, we find the value of b. The formula is x k minus 1 whole square is equal to a plus b p to the power k. If we take k to be 1, we will get x not square is equal to a plus b into p. x not is 3. a is nothing but a residue 9 and p is 7. We will solve this to find the value of b. We've taken x0 square which is 3 square is equal to a plus b into 7. This gives us b is equal to 0. Now let's go back to the formulas. We will now use the second formula 2 xk minus 1 yk minus 1 is congruent to minus b mod of p. We take k is equal to 1 and this will give us 2x0 y0 is congruent to minus b mod of 5. We'll put the value of x0 which is 3. We'll put the value of b which is 0. p is 7. And now we will solve for y0. You can see that y0 comes out to be 7. We'll now use the third formula which will give us the solution. xk is equal to xk minus 1 plus y k minus 1 into p to the power k. Take k to be 1. Now this will give us x1 is equal to x0 plus y0 into 7 to the power 1. And after substituting the values of x0, y0 and p to the power 1, we get the solution as 52. 52 is the final answer. As our power was 2, we have done only one step. If 52 is one of the solutions, minus 52 will also be the solution. If we substitute x is equal to 52 in our question, 52 square minus 9 will be divisible by 49. So you can always check your answer is correct or not. Let us look at another example where we are asked to solve the quadratic congruence x squares congruent to 3 mod of 11 to the power 3. 
we will again first check whether solution exists or not. So we will find the Legendre symbol 3 by 11. Its value is 1. So the solution exists. Now, as the power of 11 is 3, we would be requiring 3 minus 1 steps. That is, in 2 steps, we should get our answer. We will start with the first step. In the first step, k value is 1. And we will be solving x squares congruent to 3 mod of 11. We can check one solution of this congruence is 5. 5 squares 25 minus 3 is 22 which is divisible by 11. So we take x naught to be 5. And using the first formula for k is equal to 1 we get x naught squares a plus b into p. This will give us the b value. p comes out to be 2. Now use the second formula. From the second formula, for k is equal to 1, we get 2 x0, y0 is congruent to minus b mod of p. We already have x0 value. y0 has to be found. b we already know. So when we put it in the formula, we'll see that y0 comes out to be 2. Now use the third formula and take k to be 1. This will give us x1 is equal to x0 plus y0 p to the power k. And k value is 1. So when we substitute, we get 5. x0 is 5. y0 is 2. p is 11 to the power 1. We get the x1 value as 27. So both 27 and minus 27 are the solutions at this stage. But we have to do two steps. So we move on to the second step. In second step, k value will be 2. And now the x1 value which we had found earlier will be used here. Let us use this formula to find the value of b first. So x1 we have already found in the first step. It is 27. 27 square is equal to a. a remains 3 plus b into 11 to the power 2 because k is equal to 2 in this second step. This gives us b is 6. Now move on to the second formula. We take k value to be 2. So now the formula gives 2x1 y1 is congruent to minus b mod of p. Substitute the value of x1 and b. We will get y1 value as 6. Now if this y1 value is substituted along with x1 and p in the last formula, we will get x2. x2 will be x1 plus y1 into p to the power k. k is 2. y1 is 6. x1 is 27. The answer is 753. So both 753 and minus 753 will be the solution of our congruence. In two steps, we have got the final answer. And we stopped at two steps because we have seen earlier we need only to go up to n minus 1th step. Just put the value of 753 in your congruence. You will see it is satisfied. Thank you for watching.